Hi guys, Miss Marcy here again. I'm so glad you're joining me again today. So today we're going to be doing a fun project. Um, I was thinking the other day, what would you guys be asking me to draw if you were here with me at the studio? And uh, that was not really hard to decide. I think that you will want me to draw a bunny rabbit. What do you think? So that's what we're going to be drawing today. Now this lesson uh, is usually, we we'll usually do watercolors for this, but I'm assuming that most of you don't have watercolors at home. So even if you do, don't do this with watercolors, okay? The only thing you need is a piece of paper, your pencil, your eraser, markers, water, and a brush, okay? We are going to be doing this with marker but we are going to try and work with them as they were, as if they were watercolors, okay? So, are you ready? Let's start. Okay guys, so I had to move my easel so you can see me a little bit better. So once you have your piece of paper ready and your pencil, you are going to find the middle of your paper and you are going to do a little dot, just a little dot, just like that, okay? I don't even know if you can see it, but there's a little dot right there, okay? And then after that, you are going to grab your hand, do four fingers like this, place them at the very, very bottom of your paper and you are going to do another little dot right there, okay? You see them? There's one here and one here, okay? So that's going to be our uh, clue to where we're going to be placing our head, okay? We're going to be having the head of the bunny with the ears, that's why you need all this space at the top for the ears. We're going to have the face, the body, part of the body, and then the ears, okay? So you are going to start at the top of your little dot right here at the top of your, in the middle of your paper, and we are going to do the shape of our face. Now, you can be using, uh, if you want to use a circle, you can. Now, I'm going to do kind of like a, how could I say this? Like a triangle, but just with the corners, like kind of rounded, okay? So, let me start right here at my little dot right here. I'm going to go and I'm going to start going down. I'm going to open my um, shape right here and I'm going to be sure that I touch my little dot at the bottom and I'm going to keep going and go up like this. Okay, once again, your shape can be a circle, but be sure that your circle touches the middle dot and the dot that you have at the bottom of your paper, okay? So once you have your shape as you want it, remember you can always erase, you are doing this with pencil, okay? If you need to stop the video, stop the video, erase, get the shape of the head as you like it. Because if you have your shape very, very small, then your body's going to be tiny, 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 okay? You don't want a tiny, tiny, tiny rabbit. So once you have your face, you are going to use two lines, one line, He's going to start on this side of the face. It's going to be a little curved, okay? And you're going to go all the way down, all the way to the bottom of your paper, okay? The other one is going to be on the other side. Same thing, curve it up a little and then go all the way to the bottom of your paper. That's going to be the only part of the body that we are going to see on that bunny, okay? Ready? We are going to start doing the first ear. Now the first ear is going to be, you know how they have very, very long ears, right? So on one side of your uh, face, you are going to go, we're going to start drawing a curved line, guys, a curved line going towards the corner of your paper, okay? So try not to make it too, too small. They Remember, they have long ears, okay? So here we go. We're going to start going up, curve it up a little, go towards the corner of your paper and you can stop at any time, okay? Now, we are going to come back same way. We're going to curve it to the other side and then we're going to come back and finish on the other side of our um, face. 
Now they always have a little uh, shape inside. Let's do that inside your ear. Now guys, for the second ear, you can have it near that is like this going all the way towards the, cor the other corner of your paper or you can have a floppy ear okay if you want a floppy ear follow my instructions if you just want the other ear just as this one you know what to do you go all the way up and then you come back down if you want a floppy ear the first step is the same thing okay we're going to start right here and we're going to go towards the corner of our paper I'm going to go up and I'm going to stop, okay? Once you have that line, here's, this step is different, okay? Instead of coming all the way down, we are going to just do, draw a smaller line. We're just going to go like this, okay? Let's do that. It's kind of like a halfway, but it's a little open, okay? And after you have this line, you are going to go up. Curved line again, guys. Don't draw straight lines, okay? So you're going to go up like this, but be sure to stop before you get to your line. You have to have a gap right here, okay? Don't go all the way. Stop right here or stop a little bit before you get to your line. Ready? So once you have one, two, three lines, you are going to start. Check the width that you have right here. It's going to be the same on this side, okay? And that line is going to go up and it's going to, oops, and it's going to stop right here at your other line. See that? Now, some of you may not have all this space. Maybe you cannot fit this shape in there. Maybe you can fit only part of it. It's up to, you know, however you have your ear, that's going to be good. Whatever you can fit in there, but be sure that you have this shape inside your other ear as well, okay? Now, this ear looks a little bit kind of wider than this one, but that's okay, okay? I like it like that. The next step, we're going to start working on our face. Ready? We are going to do an upside down triangle with curved sides. What does that mean, Marcy? Well, it's very, very easy. Here we go, ready? You are going to start. Find the middle and maybe just go a little bit uh, a little bit further down. Leave a little space right here, okay? So this is going to be the nose. I'm going to do a straight line first. I'm going to curve and go down, curve and go up, and then curve and finish where I started. See that? That's like really, really easy. If you are in my classes, you know how to do this, okay? Straight line, curve down, curve up, and curve again, and finish in the same spot that you started. Ready? So that's what's really, really easy, right? We are going to be doing kind of like the cheeks of the bunny, okay? Starting on one corner of your nose, you are going to do a round line. Now, be sure not to go all the way over here. You cannot touch this line, guys. So I'm going to just go round, and I'm going to finish right here in the, in the very, very middle of my uh, face, okay? And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Ready? Curve line and finish like right here at the line. You can do a line in the middle, right? And if you want to do, let's see, uh, oh, if you want to do this, you can, something, but you don't have to, it's up to you. Okay, also if you want to have a little chest part right here, you can do that, okay? Now, uh, oh, let's don't forget the whiskers. One, two, three, one, two, three, let your hand go like that. Don't do straight lines, okay? Or if you want them straight, you can do the straight lines. Now for the eyes, I know that you, a lot of you have different ways of doing eyes, so I'm not going to uh, you don't have to follow what I do here. You want to have uh, your bunny like winking or uh, sleeping or, you know, you can have your eyes any way you want, okay? I'm just going to do a very, very easy uh, shape right here. Oh, wait. Okay, well, no, that's good, that's good. I'm going to go like this. I'm not going to uh, color them in yet because I just decided that I want a little stripe in the middle of my face. 
or, or the face of the bunny. So I'm going to go start from the nose and I'm going to go up and I'm going to go up like this, okay? So if you haven't done your eyes, let's do those lines first and then you do your eyes, okay? Now what I like to do in my eyes, you don't have to do this, is do a little, uh, little circle inside because that means that your eyes have light. Your eyes always have light in them, okay? So after I do a little, little tiny circle, then I can color this in. Now you do not have to color this in because you are doing this with your pencil, right? So you don't have to color them in. Now the last thing, guys, we are going to place our bunny, uh, let's place it with some grass around it, okay? So your grass, because uh, our bunny is like really, really close to us because he's big, right? So we are going to do, you can do this any way you want. I'm going to just go curved lines, just like we did our ears. I'm going to do a curved line starting on this side, curved line up, curved line down. If you have space to do more, you can. I'm just going to go another one down, and maybe I'm going to do some on the other side, okay? Curve and down curve and oops yeah remember to go all the way to the bottom of your paper if you want to do extra ones like on this on the very back of your bunny you can do that you can do some um, clouds in the sky but that will be about I'm not going to do any clouds in the sky but that's about it for our pencil drawing okay now once you have this we are going to go ahead and start coloring and painting ready guys here we go the first thing we are going to do is outline or trace our bunny okay now if you are taking classes with me you know that outlining means that you are going to just trace your pencil lines right now there's a trick here guys our tra our tracing is going to be look at this i'm going to go now this is a good tracing if we were doing something else but we are uh, trying to do this um, watercolor technique with markers so your outline should be a little thicker than that okay so your outline should look like this look at this see that now you can decide if you want your bunny to be gray or black or any color you want you can even go purple if you feel like having a purple bunny okay so we are going to be tracing our bunny with a thick line a thick marker line now not all the spaces are going to be traced with brown right i'm going to be tracing some of my um, things with maybe pink right I want my nose to be pink. I'm going to do a thick outline right there. See that? Or um, maybe the inside of my ears, I want it to be this skin color that I found one of my markers. So look at that thick, thick, thick outline, guys. Now you are going to go ahead and start um tracing with all these different colors okay now my grass is going to be green but for that i need remember thick 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 outline okay so um let's go ahead and do all our bunny now your middle part if you have a middle part on your face you can be a different color your cheeks can be a different color the chest can be a different color now something very important guys is there is no going to be any coloring with your marker okay so we are not going to fill in all any of this okay just we are just doing an outline even for the background which is your sky you're only doing an outline and this outline this really has to be go like really thick okay so I'm just going to go around around my paper okay there's not going to be any more coloring nothing like going all the way no 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 we are just staying at the very very edge of our paper okay so go ahead and do all the outlining of your bunny 
and also let's don't do any black okay don't outline your whiskers do not do your eyes either okay so outline everything and just watch the video i'm going to keep going on this but we, i am not going to be touching my whiskers or my eyes okay those are going to be the last thing i'm going to do okay so you should have something like this where everything is outlined if you have flowers or clouds everything should be outlined with a, remember a thick outline now grab your brush and you need some water i'm going to get some water but be sure to just uh wipe it on the side so it's not dripping okay let's go ahead and we're going to start with the background guys we are going to start by touching our blue look at this and as you go see how it starts bleeding that your outline is you're going is going to be kind of like your paint okay that's what your paint is going to be so you're going to get more water and then you're just going to go and look at this as you touch your blue or your outline it's going to start kind of like bleeding in okay now See that? I, I'm just going to get a little water and I'm going to go on top of this and I'm going to bring all my blue inside, okay? So it's going to be obviously a little bit darker on the top than it is in the inside, but if you need more blue, just get some blue over here and bring it in, okay? So be sure that you have to be very careful, guys, not to touch your brown because if you touch the brown, the brown is going to start bleeding as well and it's going to go into your background, okay? But see how fun this is? Now you're going to go and finish all, look at this, um, all your background, bring your blue in, bring your, be sure that you don't, do not have a puddle of water on your paper, okay? Because you might not be using watercolor paper, which is fine. Now you can go on top of your whiskers because we are going to be outlining those a little later, okay? Once you're done with your blue, let's say I'm going to keep going, but once you're done with your blue, just be sure that you uh, clean your brush a little bit because I'm going to start doing my brown now. Okay, wipe it on the side. Here we go, guys. You are going to look at this. Start touching, just barely touching my brown and that's going to start bringing all the color out. See that? So if you have spots on your bunny, you can do those too. Now, once my brush uh, starts doing this, look, that means, you know what that means? That means get a little bit more water, wipe it on the side and just bring your color in. Now this color, you can, uh, you can touch this color and just keep going because it's kind of like a, it will be nice if it's a little browner inside, right? So I can get a little bit of brown. If you just go on top of your outline, that will have, you will have a lot of color on your brush. So I can just do this, okay? And that's the way that you're going to be doing the whole thing. I'm going to go with my green, so I'm going to wipe my brush on the side and start doing my green. So look at this. It's going to start bleeding. I'm going to start bringing my color in. Now remember guys, be sure that you don't keep going on top of the same spot because your paper might be a little thin and it's going, it can rip. So you don't want to do that, okay? Once your spot is painted, let's keep going to the next white spot that you have, okay? Remember just as you go, if you want to get a little bit more paint on your brush, just go on top of your outline, that's going to be your paint, okay? So let's finish this guys. Okay, once you're done, see how I left my eyes <clears throat> without tracing or my teeth, right? Or my whiskers. So that's the last step, guys. We are going to do our whiskers with black or with any color you want. You are going to outline your teeth and also you are going to color in your eyes. If you have them open, right? Remember, I'm going to leave a little light in there circle 
and now you are done okay guys I hope you enjoy learning this new technique and learning how to draw the bunny be sure to keep sending me your art and I'll see you next time okay keep creating